where we're going to be exploring the insurance industry in 2015. And we have Adam Sami, who is the CEO of Line of Africa Insurance uh, with us. Adam, it's always lovely to have you. Uh, you. I mean, as we talk about an outlook for 2015, no doubt you are weighing domestic and global factors that are going to be playing uh, into the sector. Give us a sense of which are those moving indicators that you're keeping your eye on. Okay, well, in South Africa, if we just turn to South Africa, we have a, a low inflation environment. We expect that to be maintained during certainly the course of 2015. We have low economic growth, which is, uh, which is we see as a very negative factor uh, because the insurance industry, the short-term insurance industry, follows very closely on the economic growth of, of the country. So, so that, that is a problem. The constraints that we have in the labor market, um, the dislocation of social unrest, um, you know, service delivery issues, all of those things impact quite negatively on us. Uh, what we also see turning into the global markets now is, you know, export markets, traditional markets are also struggling economically. So we're seeing uh, a lot of difficulty for manufacturing, mm. uh, you know, to expand, um, and and, uh, and 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 then the, the, the overall influx of of, of um, weather patterns, changing weather patterns, uh, leading to you know widespread flooding. We just see them out now in Mozambique, Malawi, um, and and you know, fortunately, hasn't really hit South Africa, although there's been quite a lot of localized flooding, um, you know, recently. Mm. So th those are, are, are some of the, 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 the negative features. Um, when we then look at what are the opportunities, um, and again, a, a low inflation environment, uh, lots of new capital flowing, particularly in overseas markets flowing into, into the, the, the industry, mean that for good clients, clients that look after their, uh, their risk, manage their risk quite well, look at their, their loss history and claims, uh, uh, good clients can expect good ratings still mm. and enjoy enjoy good premiums um, and and also enjoy wonderful service because regulations also move right. uh, move us into that sector Adam let me move on to something now because you've talked about all sorts of things and I, I noticed it was the anniversary of those appalling Langsburg um, uh, uh, floods and that extraordinary um, weather event that, that, that cost so many lives and I thought of the insurance industry when I saw that it was the anniversary but never mind all that the short-term uh, insurance uh, ups and downs and the long-term insurance trends what about competition competition is something you must be worried about competition certainly worries all of us but you know competition is good for clients and so as we all look at, at um, we're all competing for better clients because better clients manage risk better. It means uh, fewer claims. It means lower cost, uh, administration costs. And so we can then price that back into those products for those clients. For, uh, for, the, for the clients who don't enjoy you know, that good a loss history, unfortunately, they, can, they will feel the sting of market changes in, in the full context of everything that I've just spoken about. Mm. Okay, Adam, um, <coughs> short-term insurance, there's, a, there's, and we've seen it with Santam, a significant investment portfolio that protects them through the volatility. And yours is a fairly recent company, but you've managed to build that up Correct. over time. Um, has that helped you go through some of the more difficult periods, especially in low inflation environment, lots of competition, your premiums are under pressure. Yes, um, well, regulation in South Africa has moved into you know, the G20 regime, mm. which is risk-based. Um, and so one of the things that weighs heavily on an insurer in terms of uh, where it invests its portfolio is, is what is ca called the capital risk charge of the equity markets. Equ equities are volatile. Um, and, and we've seen through the financial crisis, you know, sometimes up to 50, 60 percent of an insurer's uh, investment portfolio just wiped off the boards in a couple of days. Uh, nowadays, that carries a significant risk charge. Mm. Um, so what insurers, through regulation, is actually encouraged to do is to, is to move into less risky uh, investments, which are government bonds, uh, you know, cash, near cash instruments. And unfortunately, you know, those don't pay as well because they're safer, right? 
Um, I want to interject that because I think there's another element to what you've just said because as you move into safe uh, uh, investments you're also leaving behind the underserviced market and most times this is the low income bracket so then if you look at national policy we've been talking about a drive towards financial inclusion and insurance in particular micro insurance perhaps being one of the vehicles to achieve just that are we then losing sight uh, of that very ambitious goal that we've set for ourselves as a country? I, I think that we, we need a different understanding of what that means. Um, the underserviced market um, oh. in the past of what, we, what we've talked about is not the, 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 the market that microinsurance is really directed at. And, and so what we see internationally, uh, that we have very robust public-private partnerships where government gets involved yeah. uh, to cover some of the more social elements and, and the private sector gets involved to bring efficiencies and to broaden, broaden the access base. Mm. Uh, you know, f for those clients. Adam, it's always a pleasure having you on business tonight. A very big thank you to Adam Sami. He is the CEO of Line of Africa Insurance.